Hello beautiful, my name is Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. In today's video, I will be using this poly gel kit from McCart and this one is called Mermaid Glitter Poly Nail Gel Kit. It comes with three bottles of poly gel with the colors 901, 902, and 903. And here are the colors. Look at this gorgeous colors. They are, they have sort of like a pearl shimmer in them. I don't know if it's called iridescent or what, but it's beautiful. Also, I'm going to be using some of these embellishments. I'm also going to include this two uh, poly gels also from McCart. And let's get started with this set. This is how I start all my sets, applying my peel off base coat and I cure this in my UV lamp for 30 seconds. After cured, then I go ahead and apply my tips and this is how I do it. If you are interested in this kit, I will make sure to leave a link in my description box. Also, today is Sunday. I will be uploading this video tomorrow, Monday morning. Uh, they are having a huge sale right now. They have 40% off. Um, and I also have a code for you guys. It's not my code, but I have a friend who is letting me use her code for you guys. Shout out to my beautiful boo, Kiara, for letting us use her code. Thank you, gorgeous. So friend, I have a secret to share with you. So McCart has a 40% off already on their website. You can add my friend Kiara's code and add a 15% off. That's extra, 15% off. Get it, girl. Okay, so now let's talk about the set. So I usually try to do long nails. Um, it's been a while since I tried a shorter length. So I decided to do something short this time. I mean, you might consider this long, but to me this is short, friend, because I like those really long extendo nails like Cardi B. So right now I'm just fixing that shape, making sure it's straight. And after this, I'm just gonna go right in with my base coat. I cure for a full 60 seconds and then I go with my poly gel application. Oh my god, friend, this is such a beautiful color. This is, now that I'm actually looking at this video, this really looks very good for like a wedding. Hmm. Or just, I don't know, a sweet 16, um, something elegant. I don't know, what do you think?
when you're applying your poly gel, make sure to secure your side walls. And once again, friend, I'm going to repeat myself one more time. The better your application, the less filing you have to do. So take your time. This is not gonna set until you put this under the lamp. So take your time. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. Just make sure that your application is on point. So for my middle finger and ring finger, I'm going to do a marble and I'm going to use that color. I think the number was 901 and I'm going to mix that with clear. Remember, every time you're doing a marble, you don't have to focus on building the nail or building the product. All you have to do is focus on the design that you want and making sure that that marble comes out how you want it. And um, if you're going to use embellishments like I did, um, you should use them before you cure the product. That way you kill two birds with one stone pretty much. And all you have to do is encapsulate with clear at the end and you'll be all set. Now I'm going back to the index finger and I'm going to apply my cuticle bead for this ombre that I'm doing. Um, if you have any problems with ombre, friend, let me know and I can try to explain it better for you. I'm just hoping that, um, you know, me showing a close up on how I do my ombres helps you better than my words because. I'm Hispanic and my English is not that great.
after I finish fading that first bead, I'm going to give you a side look and this is what your nail should look like. Don't worry friend, trust the process. So now I'm gonna go in and encapsulate my ombre. I'm not just encapsulating my ombre, uh, this bead is also for you to balance your nail. Um, I'm gonna show you, you you'll see, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to freeze this image. You see how the nail looks more balanced now with that clear bead? That's how it should look when you encapsulate your nail. That is exactly the purpose of encapsulating your ombres. You're welcome, friend. This is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. And if you made it this far in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And friend, I'm gonna go in with some top coat cure for 60 seconds, and then I'll show you the final look. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.